Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel. My name is Kem. Today guys, you guys got for your meditative session the star. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. Have Aquarius in your chart. I feel like you're asking for help. I think you're like actually asking the universe for some sort of assistance. I think you're actually humbling yourself in a sense where you understand that things might not be in your control necessarily all the time or maybe you actually believe that someone could help you whereas when maybe in the past you didn't you know you didn't believe that there could be someone out there helping you but you could have fire in your chart because i have the king of wands here at the bottom of the deck but i think you're actually just asking for help yeah and then you have the nine of wands there's something I think you want to get out of and I think you need help and I think like you're actually asking for assistance and I think they're going to help you Scorpio so just believe I don't think that you should dim down your desires either right like let's just say you want to make I don't know an extremely large amount of money this year and you have no idea how to get started I think if you ask and trust and believe in the guidance that you're being sent then it's something that's possible. You know, maybe you're not going to make it to that exact amount of money, but they're going to help you get the ball rolling. Same thing as whatever it is that you want. There's something here that you really want, though. And there's something that you want to get out of at the same time. It's heavy. Okay, so yeah, Scorpio, let's uh, pull some cards on this. Scorpio I can see why you need help <laughs> because you're seeing the truth about a situation you're seeing the truth about the people around you and you're seeing that whatever you thought you knew you didn't know shit right there's people around you that don't really have interest in your best interest and there's people around you that have kept you from really good shit in your life um, and really big new beginnings and really big positive energies uh, and I think you know that I think you also asked for guidance to the wrong people when it came to choosing a partner I think you thought that you were choosing the loyal one I think you thought that you were choosing the one that was like again because people had told you that that was the s smarter option and I think you're seeing with the Ten of Cups in reverse and the Queen of Wands in reverse with the Three of Coins, maybe someone has been dishonest to you. Maybe someone has been like cheating on you. Uh, I don't necessarily think that that's the case for all of you. I think it's just someone that you really can't trust. 
there's someone here that you built something with that you really could not trust. You thought that it was a smart option to go for the Queen of Wands, I think, and not this Queen of Cup and this Queen of Earth. So the Earth signs are Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Fire signs are Aries, Leo, Sag. But it doesn't necessarily matter about the sign. I think you just chose. You had an option between two people who seemed very similar, right? We have the Queen of Wands with the Nine of Coins and we have the Queen of Pentacles with the Ten of Coins. So it's like either way you were going to lead to some sort of prosperity with this person, meaning like some sort of long term. Like you wanted a long term situation, right? You wanted to build a foundation with someone and you had options, right? You had an option between two people and I feel like you chose this option because I see this person connect with the Ten of Cups. But what I'm seeing with this is that this person is not what you thought they were. This person is not who you thought they were. And who is guiding you here? Uh, I feel like this mother in reverse is also someone who's been guiding you. Like this is the person you've been asking advice to. And this is the person that I feel like they said everything was gonna be all right. They said that you were gonna always be okay. And what you're seeing now is that they kept the most secrets from you possibly. Like they're actually the one that has an agenda do you know what i'm saying there's a lot of secrets here there's a lot of lies here that i feel like you're s discovering about these people and it's interesting to me because i feel like you're 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 gonna leave these people behind because you're going to see how much they have affected your life uh and i think that's why you need help because these people have really affected your life in a negative way right Li and i think it's a lesson to you to like not listen to others it's a lesson to you to listen to yourself to listen to your own gut to listen to your instincts uh again you wanted something that was going to build up you wanted to start something with someone who was going to be a nurturer but with the mother in reverse and the queen of wands in reverse it just seems like a freaking nightmare like wherever you've been and there seems to be a lot of lies and there seems to be a lot of secrets and there seems to be a lot of shit that you didn't really know about when you got into this relationship and this you know partnership with this person and now you're discovering a lot about them but can i be honest like that happens to everybody you know like you really get to know people through time i remember this girl told me like uh, she's known her like partner for 10 years and every day like she discovers something new about her partner you know what i mean so you don't have to feel like oh wow i was really led astray because this person that i thought was loyal is not really loyal and they don't really have their best interest for me but i think the person that's really surprising you is the mother in reverse right it's this other person that you you trusted and i feel like they kept a lot of things from you or they kept on a hidden agenda like someone here had a hidden agenda and they feel like it had nothing to do with what you needed or what you wanted. It had a lot to do with what this person wanted or what this person needed. And I feel like you're discovering that now. And I think it's actually like, it's hurting you. But with judgment upright, I feel like you're seeing everything. You're seeing this queen of wands for who they are. You're seeing maybe why you decided. Again, I think someone told you to choose the queen of wands over the queen of pentacles. It's like you had a choice between two people and they told you to choose this person. It didn't end up working out. Now what else do I see? I see every single ace in reverse for you, which is really, that's why this is like so sad. Look at this shit. Every single ace here is in reverse. What you don't understand is how much these people have kept you from where you should be. And what like the divine had planned for you, right? The universe and the divine had so much planned for you in your life. And I think because you asked people who were not balanced, you asked people who had hidden agendas, you asked people that you trusted, but are, were actually very, 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 very distrustful people. The thing is that you trusted them though. Like you trusted people who were so dishonest with you. You trusted people who did not have the, the best interest. They had their own agendas. Like everyone here has their own hidden agenda. That's why I'm getting with this. And you're discovering those people's agendas. Like, and I think it's, it's hurting you because these are people like in your family. These are people that you connected with. These are people that like your family told you to be with maybe. Like your family told you like, oh, this is a, you know, it's like your parents introduced you to somebody. <laughs> uh, I don't know. This queen of wands in reverse, I feel like, when, you, when it was time to make this decision between the two people, you really like didn't know and you asked someone for advice and what you didn't understand is that someone here had their own agenda. And I think 
they've just been keeping you from your life. They've been keeping you from everything. Like, look at this shit. If you felt unbalanced, if you felt like, you know, you haven't been being helped, I think it's a lesson that you needed to learn to see these people for who they really were, you know, to see these snakes, to see, I don't know what you want to call them. They don't have, they have hidden agendas though. Like they all, it's, it's about what they want, not what you, what's best for you. But I see, I see you getting out of this with the Page of Swords. I feel like the Page of Swords, the Page of Swords with the child, I feel like this is someone who, one, I feel like it's the advice that you were given. Again, it was someone who, like, you weren't listening to your own intuition, but now I see you are. Do you see how, like, the Page of Swords has a little bird here? I think you are finally listening to your own intuition, and you're finally seeing things clearly, even though it's been very hard. I think, like, you're coming up as the page because this is something new to you. Instead of trusting what everyone's giving to you and trusting what people... It's like learning discernment. Right, like everyone around you seems to have a hidden agenda. So now you have to learn like who is it that's actually there for you and who's there for whatever it is that you have to offer. I feel like I feel like for a really long time though, you've been blocked from your intuition. But what I'm getting from this is that you are meant to you are meant to kind of go this route because there's people in your life that you had to learn. You had to learn about who were the people that were keeping the shit from you so that you can learn that these are not the people that have their best interests at heart. And I feel like it's someone, again, that you really trusted with the mother and someone who was supposed to protect you and supposed to nurture you and supposed to be there for you. And the, the hardest betrayal comes from them, not from the person that's your partner, but from this person. Because this is a person that I feel like you really, really trusted. And this is a person that I feel like, again, had their own agenda. They had their own, like, hidden agenda. It's like they don't have your best interest at heart. They have their interests. But why would they have their interest if it has nothing to do with them? Apparently not. There's something that they want from you. You know what I mean? And it's sad. It's really sad. I'm sorry, Scorpio. This sucks. Like, there's no other way to see it. There's like the clarity of who's dishonest and the clarity of... The clarity is that you can't trust any of these people. The clarity, the truth is that you can't rely on these people. But I think that what that was meant to happen so that you can move forward. And for you to move forward into something more balanced in your life. Because wherever it is that you are, it's only kept you from true abundance. It's kept you from true, like living a truly passionate life in which you're happy, in which you're fulfilled. In which you, you know, what your gut is telling you is true. And honestly, from love. From actually true love. I feel like the mother whoever this is is the biggest betrayer but i mean you're also dealing with the queen of wands here in reverse but what i want to say scorpio is like you're you're getting out of this so don't feel bad just take this for what it was and it was a lesson it was a lesson on who was around you it was so you could see who was around you i know some people would rather be in denial and just you know pretend like the people around them is like oh, I love this person, I love this person, so they have to love me back, and they have to have, I, I treat this person like this, so they have to treat me that way, and that's not the case, to be honest at all. Like, these people are, they only have their own, they only have their own interests at heart. They don't have your interests at heart, and you have to understand, I don't care who this is, this could be your actual mom, this could be someone just that, like, you treat as a mother, an aunt, a grandma, whatever. Uh, like somebody who you know took care of you it doesn't matter who this freaking is it's the person they don't they don't have their own interests like they don't care about your interests you know what i'm saying that's at the end of the day they don't care they don't really care if you're happy they don't really care if you're satisfied they don't really care if you're in love they don't care like they don't care they don't care they care about themselves and that's the worst part of this whole reading this person to be honest i don't know why but it's like someone that you should be able to trust that you can't but Whatever they kept a secret, whatever their agenda is, you don't have to be a part of it. You can branch out, leap out from tradition, from family, like getting away from family. You know what I mean? Getting away from this BS, going somewhere new. And I see that's what you're going to do with the Page of Swords. Like you're going to head out. You're going to go somewhere. You're going to move forward. I always, I love this Page of Swords because he's like on an adventure. Like he's very ready. You see he has his sword. He's on a mountain. He has his guides with him. You know, like the bird is telling him what to do. And that's what's going to happen now. You're asking for help. You're going to receive it. So don't worry. 
Don't worry. Well, let's pull some advice for you, Scorpio. This is a shitty experience that you had to go through. I see with this that you had to go through this so that you can learn what true balance is, so you can learn what true reciprocity is, so you can... You have to spot out these snakes before they get this close. Do you know what I'm saying? You have to be able to spot these fakes out before they get close. You're too naive in the past. And now you won't be. So this is a good lesson. Don't worry. You're going to have everything coming to you again. This is just to let you know that you did experience a lot of loss in your life. But it, it, it wasn't necessarily your fault. It was to teach you something. Let's pull you some advice, Scorpio. Okay, so what I'm getting with this, this Sarada Devi, the Divine Mother, came out in reverse. And it's interesting that these feminines, wow, I didn't even see her. Yeah. Wow. You know what's crazy about this whole read is that I think it's actually is your mom, right? Because we have the mother in reverse, and then these two came out in reverse. And it's interesting because this is the Divine Mother, and this is the Joy Permeated Mother. They're both mothers, right, in reverse. And what's interesting is like the whole deck has, these might be the only mothers in this deck. Look, this is the fe the feminine, the empress, the woman, the goddess, the Buddha, the red lady, the goddess of light, the protectors of the sacred way, the goddess, the essence, the apostle, the saint, the goddess, the red goddess, the mystic. The only ones that are the mother are these two and they're in reverse. So it leads me to believe that it was a mother, you know, it was a mother who had this agenda and this hidden, it's, it's a secret agenda. It's like an agenda, right? It's, it's not what you need. It's not what's best for you. It's what's best for them. It's a, it's an agenda, right? And it is, it is sad, but because again, I think these are the things that this person is lacking, right? This is unconditional love exists within me. The presence of love is the absence of judgment. This person's probably very judgmental. This person is probably, uh, if you don't do this, then I'm going to take something away, right? It's like, oh, if you, you, I'm only, again, the presence of love is the absence of judgment. Judgment is if my son or daughter wants to do this, then I will allow them because I love them, right? It doesn't matter what they do, I'll love them anyway. And that's not the type of mother you've had in your life. You've had someone who had very conditional loving with this coming up in reverse. What does that mean? It's like, well, you have to do what I say or I won't love you anymore. I won't show you love or I won't. Do you know what I'm saying? It's conditional and that's really sad because again, it's coming from a mother figure. And then you have the joy permeated mother. I am my own guru. I know the self that never changes. Uh, I just feel like this person's not a happy person. This person's not. They put on a facade of being very joyful and very happy and very balanced and they're not in any type of way and this is what you grew up around possibly this is someone that you looked up to for a really long time and it's really sad that this is coming out in this reading but what i want to say is like you have pig spirit use your mind wisely you can sit here and try to understand this person's psych and try to understand why they're the way they are um but i wouldn't even worry about them anymore i would say like use your mind wisely right use your mind wisely go towards what you know that you want to do like start trusting your own intuition start trusting the divine right it's kind of scary that you can't even ask your own mom for help or the people that you trust for help and you have to kind of depend on uh the divine or spirits or like you know the universe to help you get out of your situation but i think that again this is all meant to happen the, f the fact that you discovered this about your your mom i'd want to say right with three mothers here in reverse it's a clear sign that this had a lot to do with your mom and it's sad that this is someone that betrayed you or like you couldn't trust had their own agendas had their own like kept you from all these aces four aces in reverse but with use your mind wisely it's okay to move forward now right it's okay to to not do what they want you to do it's okay and you know what's crazy is that like my heart really hurts like my act i have actual pain in my heart right now so i can feel what you guys are going through and i think it's just so painful for you to have been betrayed by someone that you again trusted so much but it's okay because with use your mind wisely 
they're telling you that they're the divine's gonna protect you now. The divine's gonna basically be your mom. Do you know what I'm saying? You don't need this person in your life who's gonna be again with their own agendas. Uh, you, you're gonna be okay, Scorpio. It's it's gonna be okay. I feel like you're meant to kind of fly away. You're meant to do your own thing. You're meant to go towards what it is that you're. Again, there's maybe people that you can't ask for advice anymore. You can't trust anymore, and that's okay because that's. I think that divine wants to take that that over, right? Like trust in us, trust in me, trust in where we're gonna lead you. It's gonna be so much better than where you've been. I, and I, and they promise it's not gonna be conditional. Do you know what I'm saying? It's not gonna be anything. They're not gonna judge you for what you actually truly want, right? <laughs> that's the type of love you know. Judgment and um, conditional, like oh, if you if you don't do this, then it's then I won't do that for you, or I won't love you. Like, <laughs> yeah. Don't worry, you're gonna be headed off into a much better direction, Scorpio. I'm sorry that this happened to you, but it's okay because now you see people for what they really are, and that was the lesson here. And unfortunately, it had to be someone in your own family. But you know what? You can work. You can move past it. It's it's gonna be okay. I love you, Scorpio. I hope this helps you guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.